Welcome to how to publish your chatbot to various channels using Core.ai's Bot Builder. This video walks through how to build a bot once and use it in multiple channels. In addition to channels like email, Facebook Messenger, Slack, and others, you will learn how to enable a web or mobile experience using Core.ai's SDK for iOS, Android, and web. So, so far we have built a bot with a few tasks in it. We have trained the NLP for it to understand the various ways in which a user can request some of those tasks. And we also change the responses so that it's a little bit more conversational in nature. So at this point, yeah, tested out the bot. It's functionally, you're okay with what it does and you're uh, also okay with the conversation. The next thing you need to decide is uh, how would your users access this bot? And that's where the, the staff or channels come into play. So. One of the fundamental principles on which the entire core.ai bot platform is built on is to enable you the ability to build a bot once and use it in multiple channels. So once a bot is built out, we can say uh, we give you the option to enable this bot in all these uh, multiple channels. To start off with, you can uh, the most easiest one to set up would is the email channel. Uh, essentially, all you have to do here is just click enable and you will have a default email associated to this bot. So now you can, once, uh, once I save this, uh, you can start talking to this bot over uh, communicating to this bot over email by sending emails and receiving uh, emails from this particular email account. Uh, you can also change it to another email account that's uh, if it's available and if it's not taken. And um, of based on how you install and um, whether it's an on-premise installation or a custom installation for you, uh, the email address itself can be made dynamic. So for instance, this could be your support email uh, uh, so that all support emails go to a bot and the bot just auto responds and then puts it back in a queue. So those kind of things become possible by enabling this. The um, next example I can show you here is Twilio for enabling SMS. And the approach that you're going to see with Twilio is pretty much what you would see for the rest of the other channels. Basically, the integration with Twilio and the the API level integration and the platform level integration is already done behind the scenes within within the bot platform. All you need to do to uh, to finish up the integration is to provide a few configuration parameters. So you will uh, and we walk you through those process here in the in the channel enable, enablement uh, steps. So you log into Twilio here and look at the account settings, the tokens, and the test uh, the auth tokens, and you copy them over here, right? And then again, you go to the, uh, you enable the programmable SMS. Uh, then you set up a few other configuration parameters here uh, and get the service ID from uh, Twilio and paste it here. Next, we offer these request and uh, URLs and a few URLs that you need to copy and put back into uh, Twilio. So this way, the bi-directional communication between the bot platform and the uh, and in Twilio, the underlying channel uh, provider for SMS is taken care of. I finally add the uh, phone number here and finally I click on this button to enable the channel. So typically enabling a channel is just takes just a hardly a few minutes uh, once you know how to get those uh, variables and just configure it here. Uh, the third thing I would like to show here, and, and before I do that, this is pretty much the same exam, uh, uh, experience if you want to enable any of the other channels, like for Slack for instance. Again, you it's just a bunch of copy pasting parameters. Um, the other different channel we have here is the web or the mobile uh, client. So essentially, we provide a raw, raw SDK and a raw API for directly accessing the chat uh, communication channel. So using this SDK uh, or using this channel, you can build your own custom mobile app or your own custom uh, web application or any kind of application for that matter to integrate with a bot, right? <coughs> uh, so to enable that, the, one of the first things you will have to do is uh, create a uh, something what we call as an app to kind of wrap that bot into a, into a container. Uh, you give the app a name here, uh, so testing app and you select uh, you'll have to select the kind of um, secured uh, um, the signing algorithm that you need for that secure communication between core uh, your app and any other servers that may be behind the scene right so uh, the rs256 is a uh, public key private key based jwt uh, signing algorithm 
and HS256 is um, based on HMAC. So based on which one you pick, you will have to either enter a public key or just agree with the defaults and uh, enable it. So now you get all these uh, parameters here, the bot ID, the client ID, and the uh, secret key, right? So now you can use this to communicate with the bot platform directly using um, WebSockets or using our SDK. Now Core has published uh, SDKs for, uh, uh, for iOS, Android, and web. So what you can do with this is if, uh, if I take the web SDK for instance, uh, I can, if I have a website where I want to put in a chat bot, all I would need to do is just copy paste some of these um, uh, JavaScript libraries, uh, add a little bit of JavaScript, copy some of the uh, parameters again that we get from the screen uh, and basically set it up. And at the, at the end of that process, you will have a bot living in that, uh, in that window which would pretty much uh, look similar to this uh, testing window uh, testing chat window here uh, and a similar approach can be done for also enabling a chat interface in let's say an ios app or a mobile uh, or an android app and on top of that we also give a base sdk which is basically a documentation of the uh, web socket communication that goes on back and forth between uh, any client and the bot platform so this way you can build any kind of raw uh, I mean any kind of custom interface on top of the bot uh, bot interface with the SDK it gives you a quick starting point to build your custom application with the uh, with the uh, with the base SDK you can build any kind of uh, integration And so pretty much these are all the channels we support at this moment. We are all constantly adding more channels. So for instance, Sky for Business and others would be added to this list soon.